and I am here today for part four of this flea market flip furniture makeover. I am working on a wardrobe that I'm calling Cotton Candy. And the reason I'm calling it Cotton Candy is because it's part of my fun summer series. Um, there's something about summer where I, I have like a, a th I, I don't know, there's something about a theme. I think that it's just, it's always summer for when when summer rolls around it's easier to focus on I guess what you say is a theme so this one is cotton candy and we're on part four and so yesterday and well the three days before we have been layering different colors this top part looks a mess in my personal opinion and hi Chandra and um Anna Marie how are you so basically we need this to look like this. Hi, Anissa. Hope y'all are doing great. Hey there. Hi there. Good to see you, J Po. So all this down here. I don't know if y'all can see it. Hi. Hey, Leah. Right here. All right. So the bottom is done. We got to get the top looking like the looking like the bottom. So what we did, real quick recap. All DIY paint. It's a clay-based paint. Um, we put uh, Old 57, Mermaid Tail, and then around the edges we have uh, Queen Bee, and then we coated them with a Cowgirl Coral, Summer Crush, and Carnival Red. If those mean nothing to you, don't panic. Just know that turquoise, darker turquoise, yellow, a coral, and a red. Um, but now we're going to have to start doubling up and get a second coat of color on there. So I'm going to work on the doors right now, but the, the color that I'm going to add in is bohemian blue, which we did not do yet before. Um, I was telling you guys yesterday um, that I ordered cotton candy because I just want to stage this piece with cotton candy. Um, it's not in yet. It's not in yet. But I'm pretty excited about having these little cake pops. No, 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 no. You can't call them cake pops if they're cotton candy. Cotton candy pops on a stick with cellophane and their little ribbons. I don't know. It's almost like I should just lay around and let them, like, lay around me in a cotton candy party bowl type. I don't know. I don't know. But um, I'm excited. That's what I mean. Because I really have not eaten cotton candy in probably, I don't know, 10 years at least. Um, but this series have, has really made me focus on doing more pastels and because the kicker with this whole piece is it seems a little bit bright right now. Um, but once we put the white wax on it, it's really going to soften it a little bit. I'm going to highlight all of these little details with my golden patina. It's called golden ticket by DIY. It's going to be really, really pretty. Um, it's definitely a boho style. Um, I reactivated the old 57 and this brush right here is the dusty brush from paint pixie and i'm just kind of showing you bits and pieces as i go along on this makeover i still have the, the sides to do um but i'm basically just replicating this this whole system here, these steps, and I'll do them on the sides. So a little old 57 and get a little bit more and then we'll add in mermaid tail and just a little bit of bohemian blue, which we have not added yet. But since this is just the second coat, we will start kind of getting the way we want them. With the first coat, it's messy, it's splotchy, it's sloppy looking. Um, that's the one where I just say, please just trust me. Let's just get through it. Let's get through it together. Nobody panic. Thank you for the thumbs up on YouTube. I appreciate you. YouTube is still fairly new to me. And so um, I'm still, I still feel pretty vulnerable often um, when I'm on YouTube. It's a lot different than Facebook only because I've been on Facebook for so many years. But so far, the community over on YouTube has been just been so wonderful. So 
So when you're adding water, don't spray so much to where it just starts running down the front of the piece of furniture. You don't need to make it drip. Just, just a really light misting. And if you can't find a, a light mister, not like a, you know, you can use a spray bottle, like an old spray bottle, but this is actually a fine misting spray bottle. So it just comes out almost like that. Like, like, have you ever been at a restaurant and the patio, it like just dusts like little droplets on you. It's like that. You are helping me relax while we drive to Alabama. Seven hours, Dana. We're going to be taking a road trip soon too. We'll be headed to Crystal Beach, Texas, and that's always a drive that I dread because I have to go through Houston and Dallas. That is no bueno with me. I hate it. I hate it. Okay, now Mermaid Tail. I'm using the same brush. Encourages blending. Nobody panic. What colors? Diane, where you been, girl? I've just been telling ya. <laughs> So um, I just applied a second coat of Old 57 and then Mermaid Tail is around the edges a little bit. Yesterday we did some Carnival Red, Cowgirl Coral, Summer Crush, and I'm not putting the Mermaid Tail everywhere, okay? I'm only doing a few areas. I don't want it balanced. I don't want it known. Balance is the wrong word. I don't want it equal, exact same on it, both sides. Nothing wears that way. Our face doesn't even rear that way. I have, oh, like, for example, this side of my face has a larger laugh line. This side of my eyebrow is a deeper crease. Why? Do I, like, gear to my side of my face when I smile? I don't know. But this line is deeper and this line is deeper. So see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? So even in furniture, they don't wear exactly the same so we have no reason for them to wear to make them look exactly equal in my opinion Okay, so I'm just going to put a little in there, and we're going to grab some of the boho blue here in just one second. Bohemian blue is exactly probably what you would picture. It's a, it's a really dark teal. So it's going to ground a lot of these bright colors. It's going to be our grounding color that we use. And it always looks really good with warm tones of red and orange. I'm overlapping all of this because I'm going to be coming in tomorrow with some corals, the warmer colors. So I'm, I'm going to dry brush over this top part. I didn't get any more paint on my brush, but I'm literally just going over all of it. Adding some more color. You can't do it wrong, guys. You'll hear that trim. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I can't wait to show you guys it up closer when we get the metallic on it. Okay, let's go ahead while this is wet. I'm going to grab my French tip. Again, I've shown this to you before, but it's the one that has the point. And I can grip it right here. Um, it is a great piece. I'm excited to have found it. It needed a couple of little things and those are fixed now. And uh, I got a really good, well, it was a really good find. They weren't going to sell it to me, but I convinced them that they should. Pretty please. So I'm going to get a little bit of that Bohemian Blue right in here in the edges. Just a few areas. I think I want some right down here too. So 
So I just booked my flights today to California where I'm going to be hosting a class in Solana Beach, California with Debbie Beard of Debbie's Design Diary. I'm excited about that. So if you're in the area, San Diego area, come see Debbie and I. Just booked my flights for September 8th. Sunday, September 8th is our class. I'm also having another class here, though, in Moore, Oklahoma. This is better for you on September 28th with my friend Quita Allen of All Shabbed Out. So two classes in the books, guys. If you, hopefully you can make one of them. I'm just dry brushing again, guys, with this. It looks like a hot mess still. It's real splotchy. We're good with this. I promise we're good with this look. For now, it won't stay this way. I don't know. Huh. That's really odd. It did. Facebook freaked out. You know what it says? It says my phone got too hot. How in the world? Sorry, guys. Facebook just freaked out and said my phone was too hot. What in the world? How does that even happen? And it, well, we'll just keep going. Don't know what happened there. Okay, so we've got Bohemian Blue. I'm going to dry brush a little bit in here. Shades of blue, three different shades of blue right in here. Dry brushing over the coral. Okay. So we have to let that sit before we start bringing in our warmer colors again. We'll bring in our metallic. I just have to get this to look just like that. So that's fun. Don't y'all love these colors? These colors are like energetic to me. Like, um, like I said, they're pastels when I put the white wax over them, but they're kind of bright right now. Um, but anyway, I promise it's going to end up being good. Besides Bohemian Blue, what are the other two blues? So Old 57 and Mermaid Tail. Those are both colors, all colors from DIY Paint. Um, you guys, thanks for joining me for part four. I'll be back tomorrow for part five. Then we'll do part six, and then I think that's going to be it. I think we all that's all that we will need. Um, again, if you were over on Facebook and you came over, I don't know what happened. My it said my phone got too hot in the temperature, and it just shut off. So interesting. You guys have a great night and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.